Well, hello, thanks for dropping by and taking a look at this video. Um, so, what we've got today, well, let me, before I start, I'll just give my standard disclaimer. Um, I don't write any exams. Um, I have nothing, no connection to the exam writers here. So all I'm doing is preparing a reading text for you. Okay, so that's, that's all I'm doing. I just like making uh, practice exam materials. Okay, so what have we got today? Well, firstly, we see we've got a text about Norway. Now, if we go down a bit, text about Sweden. Okay, so we can see there's some connection between these two texts. Uh, Scandinavia, obviously. All right, so below here, we've got six questions about the first text, about Norway. Then we have four questions about the second text. And then we have the synthesis task, which is about both the texts. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers. All right, so question number one. Let's look at what clues we can see in the text that help us find this answer. All right, so the fact that a relatively small number of natural resources has made trade with other countries necessary means Norway is a classic example of a mm, something. All right, so what have we got? The country has a small number of natural resources. Um, it traded with other countries and this trade was necessary. So, what does this mean? Norway, a classic example, and here we've got typical. So the answer is a small open economy, and we see this narrow resource base, small number of natural resources. A prerequisite is something that is necessary for something to happen. So, necessary and Prerequisite. We can see both in the question and in the text. Okay. So this is the answer for the first question. A classic example of something. It's a typical small open economy. Okay. Question number two. All right. So we've got a big marker here, the big three, which we also see text. Norway's big three export products. Okay, these are fish, wood, timber is a word for wood, and shipping services. These are the big three. They were the driving force behind economic development in the 1800s. Let me close up those two pages so we can see it together. Okay. All right. So, first half of the 19th century. The 19th century is another way of saying the 1800s. Okay, so we need to know that. Okay, so the Norwegian economy in the 19th century, a classic case of, okay, an economy based on, so we can see similarities here, okay. So the answer we're looking for is export-led growth. Okay, down to number three. All right, so number three is a cause and effect question. Okay, so we've got the effect, decreased demand for Norwegian shipping services. We've got a time marker, second half of the 1800s. Okay, so we've got the effect, we need to look at the cause. Ah, and these words here led to substantial demand for shipping services. Substantial demand, increased demand. Okay, so, okay, this is the effect, so the cause is going to come before. All right, we've got our time marker here. So, what led to this? This did. Strong growth of international trade. Okay, so a classic cause and effect type question here. We've got the effect, but what we need to do is find the cause. Okay. Four. All right. Now here's one I want you to take notice of. All right. Okay. Because you're going to see these words in the text: an ineffective monetary policy. Okay. And we've got an unfortunate monetary policy here. And you might want to you might want to write that as your answer. And that isn't the answer because other than means. Um, 
don't use this example. It means use one of the other examples in the text other than this. Okay, this is a reason for the economic difficulties. Um, we don't want you to give this as your answer. We want you to give one of the other reasons. Okay, and um, we've got a time marker, 1920s, early 1920s. So the combination of one good acceptable answer, another good acceptable answer, and the example in the question that we don't want you to use. So you've got two choices here. All right, so remember that other than means don't give a, an answer that includes this because that's not what we want. We want you to give a different example or a different cause, different reason here. Okay? So look at these two words and think what they mean because if you just give a sentence that includes this, it's definitely going to be wrong. Okay, down to number five. Okay. New industry based in the sea. Okay, important for Norway. Decline of shipping, 1970s. Okay, shipping market collapsed. Collapse goes down badly. Okay, 1970s, we've got our time marker, so we know we're in the right paragraph. A new maritime industry, so new, an industry, so we can guess that maritime means sea-based, based on the sea. All right, and what did it? Okay, so petrol, oil, oil exports. Okay, so anything here. All right, if you write all this, then it's going to be a bit long and sort of contain unnecessary information. So what was what was the industry? It became, I mean, you could put that whole part of the sentence there and that would be an acceptable answer. Or all of that, the massive income from oil exports. Okay, oil, petrol, These, just, you know, one or two words is enough of, of an answer here. All right, number six, where are we? Okay, the country has achieved a high standard of living, despite the fact means that we need some, it's bringing in some sort of information that um, shows a contrast to this. Norway has done this in a way that differs from most industrialized nations. Okay, where have you gone? Oh, okay. Okay, Norway's foreign trade differs from that of most industrialized countries. Now you might think, oh, that's great, that's the answer. It's not, okay? Look at the question carefully. How does it differ? Norway's foreign trade differs from that. That's very interesting, but that sentence there doesn't tell us how it's different. It just tells us it is different. So if you write this, basically you're just repeating the question. You're not answering the question. So keep reading, all right? The exports have been closely linked to the country's natural resources and advantages. See, that's how, okay? This sentence tells you that it, it is different. This tells you how it's different. All right, high standard of living. How? Without having high technology, industrialized in, in, oh, I'm, oh. high technology industrialized products as a major component. So that's also an answer. Okay, they've used their country's natural resources very well, and also they haven't had to use high technology industrialized products. So two answers are possible here. But with this question, questions like this, be careful not to just repeat the question. And if you write that, you're repeating a bit of the question. And if you write this, you're repeating a bit of the question. Make sure you answer the question and don't just give, you know, a paraphrase of the question. All right. Okay, then. That's the first text. Okay, thanks for looking at this video. Please come back and look at part two. Okay, bye for now.